everybody, and welcome to Rise of the Podcast. I'm Jeremy. I'm Kara. I'm Dave. And I'm ordering it online. Oh, and I'm Brownie. Uh, do we want to tell that story? We're just just is that story sealed? We'll, 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 we'll let that exist for those who know. All right. But I don't know. Well, you should have been there for the stream <laughs> earlier. Kara. Yeah, if you if you were watching me earlier today, you would know that I had some experiences with online orders today. Mm. I was getting my hairs done. Oh yeah, look at everybody. Kara's got a new hair color. Yep, it's like like a dark maroony pink. It's a big change from blonde. If you guys didn't know, we have a lot to talk about tonight. So if you guys didn't know, Star Wars mm-hmm. Celebration is currently going on uh, over in London. Uh, ever since we started going to them, this is the first one we've missed. And it's just because we couldn't go to London. Right With a two-year-old. With a two-year-old. Yeah. And well, I wasn't going to go overseas did brief, briefly stop by that stream. I was, I was working on a helmet. It was a Discord-only stream. So, as good a reason as any to join our Discord. Yeah, there you go. You can see Chris do uh, random streams on there. Not random. Hey, Darth, Darth Gallon, thank, thank you for the... Sub. Six yes. months, Darth sub to us. Thank you. Darth Gallon. Thank you, sir. I love Darth Gallon. <laughs> oh, yeah, I forget. <laughs> oh, man. Oh, right in the guts. Right in the guts. I forget that we do that, but apparently the person manning the gun doesn't. Oh, man. And it's not me tonight. No, we have live audience members. Get that I said audience and not audience. Kara is so funny. What? It's I, true. I like saying the word audience. It's really fun. Yeah, but we don't. it's not audience. It's audience. So, Anyways, Star Wars Celebration is going on over in London. And that just made me feel all warm and fuzzy for the stuff that has already been dropped and released and as much as i would love to be there we can't but that doesn't mean we can't be up to date on what's going on so the new ahsoka trailer has dropped they kept it hidden who was playing thrawn until today so sorry this is all public knowledge they didn't even show his face though well they did Did they announce him they did (gasps) who is it lars mickelson yes i'm actually okay Uh, with this Quick side thing, Pete Savis has achieved a milestone of watching three consecutive streams and sharing it. Right? No oh, you wait. Is that a nice. thing that StreamerBot does? No, it's a thing that apparently Twitch does now. Well, that's cool. That's cool. That's really cool. Uh-oh, Oops. where'd we go? There we are. I, 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 <laughs> I clicked too quickly on the keyboard. Wait, do we have do we have a wheel spin? Yes. Yep. Wheel spin for Blazzy. Oh, all right. All right, Blazzy. Here we go. Actually, Kara, I don't know. Uh, now that thing is working. What's oh, working? Was that the... No, no, that was the we have like ten ten thousand extra web Got pages it. open. All right, here just, we go. Do we it. Go. Oh, my back is hurting me. So. Oh yeah, that's right. Jeremy's back spot. is a balloon. Well, the balloons are. Are we out of balloons? I think so. And they're they're way David over there. We'd have to check. Where, <laughs> oh, over here. Well, we're we're getting respin from the audience, including the person who redeemed. <laughs> redeemed. Do you want me to do it? Or yeah, you, you better, better do it. Oh, All <laughs> Stone Monkey Ah, Rangers Jeremy, pizza dance. How's that? Is that Get good? out of here. <laughs> no. Oh, my goodness. Yes. I can't even. Yes. <laughs> Already. We're going to cut to a clip after I'm done doing this here. All right, here we go. Come on, Jeremy, you got this. I think I hit it on the fourth beat. Oh, look at all your pizza he wants. That's ridiculous. Oh, you can do it now. Okay, okay, okay. I think so. Hold on. I don't know what I do it. Now. You toss you the pizza. You toss the pizza. You put on the sauce. You put on the sauce. <laughs> Add the cheese. Add the cheese. <laughs> and you put it in the oven. <laughs> you toss All the right, pizza. That, <laughs> hey, thank you for making it so slow. All right, Chris, are you able to pull up? Uh, you guys know how I feel great. about the pizza. That was pizza great. Emote and whatnot specifically the emote so something happened this week this is what yep. happens when you guys use our emotes elsewhere on the world wide web so chris see if you can roll the clip i'm, I'm gonna do my what best is this? <laughs> <laughs> brad uh okay, brad's words so. hey cam's uncle la, la drop was good 6298 solid Wrong emote, okay, though. So yeah, I'm in there, too. Just not. Oh, I do sword. see that. I like how Look yours landed, though, David. Emotes. Like, yours landed with Jeremy's mouth, like, <laughs> wide open. Like, ah! <laughs> right, let's see if we can get this to come up. Application audio capture. So this is going to be web share audio. Or a duo. You were getting me. F11 about 17 times. I was going to say you were getting me uh, a do. A-U-D-I-O. There come you on, go. Fingers. You got this. 
All right, so window. This was shared yes, to us by the Deep Laker. Okay. AKA Rian. Oh, the stray sand effect. I know. That's the problem. All right, can everybody see that? All right, let's hit yep. play. What is this, the Deep Laker? Like a thumb eating pizza. Why is that <laughs> thumb eating pizza? It's not a thumb eating pizza. <laughs> well, I'm not a thumb. Uh, we're breaking uh, our internet now. Come on, baby. Let's set it to potato quality. What is this, the deep link? Can you turn it up a little bit, Chris? Like a thumb eating pizza. Why is that? Uh, that's as loud as it goes. What? Why is that thumb eating pizza? <laughs> I, I, I don't understand the thumb. <laughs> I don't understand the pizza. I don't understand either of them. <laughs> you think it's a Canadian eating pizza? Well, it's a Canadian thumb, that's for sure. That's a thumb right there, though. That is a thumb. <laughs> Poor Jeremy is so bald, he looks like a thumb. <laughs> that is a thumb. So, first off, that streamer looks extremely awesome. That's we, Benny we, Fitz. That's the one Swanky's been like, Swanky asked us to a, um, raid months ago, and we finally did, he, like, last month, I think. Is he ever on? Yeah, he's on. He just doesn't necessarily stream the same, like, at the end of our streams. Got it. So, I do see him on a lot, but I feel like it tends to be earlier in the day. Okay. So... Yeah, Chris is dying over there laughing. <laughs> it's that a little thumb. <laughs> I'm not a thumb. I don't understand the thumb. I don't understand, the, thumb? I don't understand thumb? the pizza. Why is that a thumb Canadian eating pizza? Thumb. <laughs> <laughs> that was absolutely ridiculous. Oh, that was so good. Ryan, thank you for sharing that with us because it made my day a little brighter. <laughs> oh, Darth Gallum says I may have used it somewhere. Oh, really? Uh, I think people like using that emote. It's a funny uh, emote. It is ridiculous. Especially if people think it's a thumb. <laughs> Not we just a thumb, but a Canadian thumb. About adding an e a Jeremy eating broccoli emote. <laughs> um, just to balance out the eating pizza emote. You guys should ask me how often Jeremy eats broccoli. How I often love does bro Jeremy eat broccoli? When we got our... No, don't put a goose egg up there. Kara, what did I do when we got our air fryer attachment for our Instant Pot? How long ago did we get that, Jeremy? I, how many times have I used it? At least three, four times. We only got it a couple months ago. We got it a while ago. It was after Christmas. 100% it was after so Christmas. So we had two months ago. I think you made broccoli in it once. And carrots like three or four times. When we first got it like two months ago. Uh, I think that's more recent than Kara's giving me. <laughs> Triclaw, welcome to the stream. Hello, Triclaw. Is, uh, uh, Triclaw. Builder's Mark here. Builder's Mark, are you here? If he's not, we'll wait. I don't think I mean, I've he seen spent him yet. most of the day with me, so I wouldn't put him past him to not be. Here. <laughs> That's <laughs> like, true. You That's know, true. I've had enough of this guy. These crazy people. Okay, well let's take. Well, so let's take a second. We'll talk about Star Wars again, and we got lots of fun stuff to show off to to, to people, yes. and we have a, a challenge for everyone tonight, which is going to oh, be really really fun. Yeah, and you haven't done it, and Chris hasn't done it. So, uh, Brad says builders is eating cat food. <laughs> <laughs> um, okay. So the Ahsoka trailer dropped. Yes. It looks fantastic. If you have not seen that so yet, good. go check it out. It has got me hyped for Star Wars. They announced who's going to be pretty low on Star Wars up until that point, I know. Well, and so I know, like, Cam's ankles watched The Clone Wars. Have you ever watched Rebels? I feel like in, if you want to watch yes. Ahsoka, you need to watch Rebels first. I think it's a mandatory watch I ahead agree. of time. I. Uh, no way. So TriCloud just said nice. good news on his end. He finally got his first 3D printer set up. No nice. way. Now here's the ultimate question. You just said you just sliced your first print. Are you using Cura or Prusa Slicer? I mean, there's others. Or, what is or simplif some simplified third, 3D? Even worse option. Or, what is it that Loyal uh, uses? I Doug forget. Gallum says he's really excited for so uh, so it looks really good. It um, looks really yes. good. And guys. They lengthened her leku. I know they did. Yes, that's all I got. I mean, okay, it, was, it, was a, it was a common complaint. They're like, "Well, she just had it done up to go to what was the planet she was on when she fought Mando?" Oh God, I don't, I don't there's know. a whole joke planet. talking about how it's like, "Oh, well, when you travel there, you just always have it done shorter." So. Uh, oh, funny. <laughs> Can you imagine if you actually cut those like you do oh, hair? 
Like, so who says you can't? Maybe they get. Maybe Dave Filoni. Did you you heard Dave Filoni is getting a, a New Republic movie, right? Standalone New Republic movie. I heard that. I'm Cam's I'm ankle. You're in for a treat. You're so, in for a treat. The tri class says Kira for now uh, was the default choice by the manufacturer. Okay. I would recommend you just just dabble in Prusa Slicer. Go ahead and try it out. Prusa Slicer is really Don't easy. Don't feel obligated, but I really like Prusa Slicer. I will say, their Kira is absolutely great. Just when you, you click, you download a bunch of mods. When download you, a bunch of mods, and it runs amazing. Um, but when you click slice, just the amount of time it takes to actually slice your file, Prusa Slicer is a little bit faster. In my opinion, but other than that, they're like very similar, and people have great luck with them. And actually, Brad says you don't cut them; you rub them off. Ha! <laughs> Speaking, this was sliced Brad's in Kira. Worth. Okay, this is who can name what the whose jetpack this is. I will give you. You know what bonus that looks points. like? Cam it looks knows. like something. It looks like a piece of gold that you dipped into um, <laughs> truck bed liner. <laughs> <laughs> it totally oh, a piece does. of gold that I dipped into truck bed liner. Yep. Yeah. It totally does. This is from it's my. Like, I, it's like I don't want to get rust on the bottom of my jetpack. Oop. <laughs> so. David was using his own filament, then he ran out, and then this was, it's not a cartouche filament that he won per se, but it was an order from my filament. This is that pink, that uh, was for, uh, silk uh, punk. You I picked it, up and delivered it looks something good. for yeah. you with my trailer. Yep. And so you're like, hey, I'll just take or a roll car. of filament. Do we so, have any guesses who this belongs to? I mean, I know who it belongs to. Well, yes. Yeah. Yeah, well, no, technically, it belongs to <laughs> moi. You're I don't so think it funny. technically belongs to Dave. <laughs> <laughs> I will fight them all for <laughs> Um All right. So this is Stinky B.O. Katan. This is Bo Katan. Um, this is her jetpack. So that is going to be. Oh, that was close. Oh, Bradsworth, Brad, was close. I would actually love to cosplay as the armorer as well. She's super cool. Heck yeah. um, I finally got to see what she looks like without the helmet on. It's like, dang, she could take her helmet off every now and then if she wanted to. <laughs> <laughs> Easy on the eyes. Is that what you're getting at? She's yeah. pretty, the lady who plays her. Yeah. Um, but that's going to be Kara's next cosplay. And yeah. so. Um, Hello, Waste and Time. We have had four printers going. Um, I've been doing, we got the blasters almost done. We have a helmet done, but it's too small. A helmet. Oh, yeah. Another helmet the going right the now. The shoulders. We have another mm -hmm. helmet going right now. If no one wants to watch it, they can Jeremy hop onto my stream <laughs> after this. and <laughs> Absolutely. Maybe Jeremy we'll just printed. Or right now. But. Right. Jeremy yeah, we'll printed. David, why not? <laughs> we could. If I'm not out of filament by then, <laughs> it may be a boring until I get home to swap it out. <laughs> it's it's pretty low. So Jeremy printed the breastplate and then the, like the diaphragm little cover piece. And uh, <clears throat> Jeremy seemed to have forgotten that I am a six foot tall woman. I'm not a petite little five foot six something. And so it doesn't fit. <laughs> Well, well, well. Do you have anything well, to say for yourself, Jeremy? Yes, I <laughs> printed it, so then we know how to scale it. Oh, See, that's, that's the thing. I, actually, so I want to, so I want to talk about something. So I have the ability on the Prusa to just, I have it hooked up hardwired via LAN, uh, and I can just send files down to it, and it's really easy. I can slice and then go, and that I love. If you have a Raspberry Pi, you can do the same thing with any of your printers. You can run OctoPrint, which is really cool. You don't have to just oh. shuttle a guys. Memory card Cam, congratulations on the fourteen month sub, sub streak. Cam, Am I shadow oh, banned? Man. From what? Oh, I can. Sh I have been. I have been commenting. Jeremy eating pizza. This is going to go up right after waste and times. Hi, Cam. Hi, Cam's ankle. Oh, 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 man. Oh, oh, Karen's getting ricocheted. Oh, oh man! Hey, Cornholio Plato. See, look at it. Didn't show up. It didn't show up. Shadow banded. Ryan, Are you sure do you're it. Posting on the right one, Kara. Yeah, I am. I'm in ours. She is. Shadow banding is not a thing on Twitch, is it? Oh, there. No, that's swanky. Is so. Working. This is gonna go after Stone Monkeys. After his drop. Maybe try not using PC. Auto mod hasn't grabbed anything. Kara is legitimately. RJ, MJ, RJ. Ryan, did you ban Kara? <laughs> oh, there. That popped up. It's blocking your ability to use P. I wish I was a part of that. What are, are, the she, what? Are, are you, not, are you she's not subscribed? She's not banned or anything. It's not letting me do the pizza emote. Well, then what we're wondering is if maybe if your subscription <sighs> expired and you can't technically can't no, use the I, emote even though it's locked. even even you can't. I'm not. I, I'm subscribed. Restart the app. <sighs> Jeremy, 
What a sigh of desperation. Yeah, sometimes turning it off and turning it back on again is the right choice. You know what, you guys? Oh, look at Benny Fix is streaming right now. Probably turning it off See? and on again. Let's try again. We joke, but it's the truth. Okay, here we go. We're gonna try it again. Ready? Paste and go. Maybe it's because you're pasting it. Uh, but that's what I want to ah, do. Followed. I know. I get it. All right, Carrie, you don't worry about your emote. I want to. I um, want to know. Is it gonna work? There, so, okay, there we go. There's a yeah, stupid so it, one. Something with your paste. Kara's eating paste, so she can't paste. Ah, don't. You weren't supposed to tell anyone. Just uh oh. <laughs> eating paste turns your hair red. That's what I heard. It's not red. It's pink. Purple. It's all purple. If you ask Chip, it's purple. If you ask Chip, he's Bone Slicer or whatever. Bone, bone shaker. shaker. His favorite yeah. Hot Wheels. Yep. I'm Bone Shaker. I'm Bone Shaker. No, if you ask him right now, he's a puppy. He's a puppy? So apparently at my parents' house today, he looked at my mom and he went into their li their living room area where they, um, my younger brother, or yeah, my younger brother's dog, like her bed is in there and stuff like that. And he goes in there and he says, he goes, Grandma, woof, woof. And my mom's like, do you, do you want to pretend to be a puppy? And he said, yes. And he just <laughs> goes around, he goes, woof, woof. And he goes and he lays in her bed. And then my mom's like, does puppy want a treat? And he said, yes. And my mom was like, do, do you, what does puppy say when he wants a treat? And he goes, woof, woof. <laughs> Funny. <laughs> so, and then he, he knows how, how doggies shake their tails too. Like he actually shook his little baby butt. Yeah. One imagination, please, Chip said. <laughs> hey, Cornholio Plato says my nephew uh, wants that egg that you sent. That was a the long dragon time one? ago. That's yeah, cool. That was a Heck long yeah. time ago. Um, no, and so the dragon back home. We, we wouldn't be proud parents if we didn't want to talk about Chip for a little bit. Yeah. He's also starting to imitate or use his imagination. So yeah. when we do voices for his cars and vehicles, we have our normal talking voice, and you go lower. Like, oh, I'm five alarm. I'll put out your fires because it's a fire truck. And so... Chip is starting to do that now too. So he'll be like pretending that he's the cars. He really likes tomato. He totally would. And he'll be like, be like, oh no, I can't make it. Semi can't make it. And he's like, come save me, tomato. And then he'll do a lower voice. He'll be like, oh, okay then. But he's a kid, so he doesn't have a lower voice. It's a right. It's just like story short. It's like high and higher. Yeah, it's it's really <laughs> funny. Um, but no, back to slicing. So well, I've been going just crazy printing Kara's armor so we got her Hello, forearms Jay done and i don't think she needs whistling birds but she requested them so I, yeah you need whistling she birds hasn't earned them yet yeah you haven't earned the whistling birds yet you have to do one con without them and then you'll earn the right to use whistling birds mm -hmm. i don't think she's impressed no nope. what, what, um, what what have you done to pr protect the the mandalorians from outside forces i had chip what what? I, I think that makes, a, <laughs> makes you a liability. <laughs> when he's running around going, I'm Tomater! I'm Tomater! <laughs> um, anyway, so here's what here's what was something that frustrated and that happened for me. So I started the printer, and um, I, I'm sick and tired of jockeying the memory cards back up and forth from the downstairs to the upstairs. Oh, to poor upstairs. Jeremy. You say poor Jeremy, but when I'm doing... How dare you have to use your legs? No, I did not say that facetiously. That was a legitimate poor it Jeremy. It didn't feel like it. It was 100% a poor... It felt very sarcastic on this I didn't side. mean for it to. I was like, I literally poor meant poor Jeremy. Jeremy. Because, like, what happened actually sucks, and I would have just been, like, done. Like, so, I'm not even dealing with this anymore. I tried to big brain it. And so I'm like, all right, I know I'm printing some stuff on the, my core XY machine so I don't have to worry about it falling over. Because when you build, when the bed slinger is going back and forth, stuff can fall over and tip off. So I thought, all right, I'm going to save myself some time. I know I'm going to print these two files. I'm going to print the left and the right side for her arms on the, on the one downstairs. So I sliced them both. I named them left. I named them right. I go downstairs. I print one first, and it's the right side with the whistling bird spot. It's got a big cutout in it. Then that one gets done. I go ahead and print it, and it's like it's like a... 16 hour print something yeah. crazy it's like 12 hours into it i go downstairs to check on it it wasn't sarcastic i, I reprinted i reprinted the same side i'm like yep. no so i like look at the files and it's like yep i should have definitely printed the left and guys it was probably what 10 hours into the print when no, you it was got it 12 yeah 12 hours into the print yeah so i'm like all right it's definitely the left so then i'm like all right i'm gonna reprint the left now i'll reprint the left that was last night so i wake up tonight so i wake up this morning i come downstairs and look at it no, it was also the right side again. Again. 
I would have so, rage quit and been like, nope. Somehow I sliced the same file twice and named it left and right. I'm surprised you didn't so just let through. it go and then printed me another whistling bird and been like, here you go. You got two whistling birds. Good That's luck. not going to work. You can't be <laughs> double whistling birds. Why not? Well, I guess I do, I, do need, I do need my uh, um, um, communicator. What's the thing that shoots out? Or the shield? The shield, shield's, shield's on the left. Thing. Shield's on the left. The the um, hook. A little whippy lasso. It, grappling hook. Grappling hook. They've got all of that. Yep. Okay, so the shield definitely reminds me of like, um, Halo. Nope. Destiny. Well, yes, but for whatever reason, Marvel. Oh yeah, I get that. Yeah. I get that. So anyway, so yeah, so jetpack. We've been sl- so triclaw. Good on you for getting a 3D printer. Do, do we miss that uh, cam resubbed? Um, no, we, we definitely got shot it. for that. Seven minutes ago? I yeah, so. totally got shot for that. Well, shoot us again. <laughs> I, I was being facetious. Yeah. <laughs> Ooh, Tara's getting bla- oh, we're getting blasted too. Oh, oh, no. oh man. <sighs> <sighs> Steve's having fun over there. <laughs> I forgot that that is a thing. No, I didn't. Uh, okay, um, uh, we do have a wheel spin for oh, for David. Go ahead and spin it. Oh, Add right. your name to the Laser Brain Hall of Fame. Sorry, David, that's what we're doing for you. Okay. Welcome to the Laser Brain Hall of Fame. I don't think he's I'm been on there before. No, he hasn't. Uh, this is his first time. Names on there, so hopefully Kara has it written down somewhere. We have. Oh, well, there it is. There you, it is. I found it. So even though that Bill, well, I should tell you, Builder's Mark doesn't have to be here to talk about this, right? No. So even though Builder's Mark isn't here, he has been wanting one of these since we started this process. So Builder's Mark said, hey, what's the odds of me getting a blue ingot? Jeremy hasn't even showed a these to me blue yet. blue ingot. Okay. So check. Kara, check that out. Ooh. That's pretty. So it, it is blue. It is 100%. Oh, it totally reads blue on the screen. Are you blue. kidding? So Cam, I like this blue. Like, this is a nice blue. blue I like it. <laughs> That's probably Builder's Mark's favorite song. So these were made just for Builder's Mark. <laughs> this is nice. Whoops. Dang it. I like them. I like them. me again. Oh, it moved the That's second. That's so year. nice. Was Jeremy yeah. able to keep something a secret? I wasn't told about this until they were placed into my hands. <laughs> <laughs> Jeremy does not know how to keep uh, secrets. Pete must. You must either know Builder's Mark or spend enough time with them to know that yes, uh, Builder's Mark is gonna love it, Pete. I am gonna go out on a limb and guess Builder's Mark is in one of the states surrounding us because he referenced Menards in Chris's stream today. Menards is. Northern There's, state. You say yeah. big money. Minnesota, you Iowa, say Wisconsin. big yeah. money. Uh, that's what I'm saying. A surrounding money. state. Illinois. Brad says someone doesn't want to get shot. Huh? Someone doesn't want to get shot, says Brad. No, doesn't. Nobody yeah, wants to get Jeremy, shot. Jeremy, fire your phone up and do a close up of the ingot. All right, I'll pull out the Jeremy cam here. Wait, where'd you put the ingots? Back, right back there. Back with Han Yoda Shrek. Poor Han Yoda Shrek. Oh, I'm not on Wi Fi because I'm trying to save building bandwidth. Oh. Is that what did, we're did doing? You see, did you see Brad's funny comment? Which one? Which one? What so is what going? Are you aiming at? Uh, why is the gun at nut level today? <laughs> why is this not working? I don't it, know. It's activated. It's on you. Let me try it again. Turn it off. Turn it back on That's again, what Jeremy. I'm doing. That is what I'm doing, Kara. <laughs> I wonder if my IP address changed, Chris. Why would your IP well, address change? So, yeah, one six eight dot one dot one seven. Yep, totally did. Of course it did. Now I just Ridiculous. need to give myself a static. There it went. Ridiculous. So yeah, there is the everything is a shade of gray. So I feel like the like the balance is throwing it's it. It's not, off. but that's blue. Like I realize it's like a very slate it, blue. Hold it still Get for it down, a second. Yeah. I know Jeremy's like it's not focusing. Focus faster. Yeah, Jeremy's like running on all over the place. It's like God. you can hold it still. It's totally fine to hold it still. Anyways, that it, looks cool. That's a super cool one. So I think he is going to love it. That's a Walter White Beskar. Oh my goodness. <laughs> I want to do a rewatch of Breaking Bad. Breaking Bad. I was talking to somebody recently who's watching it. For the first time? No, rewatching oh. it. I can't think of who it was. 
It's such a good show. It's a very good show. Let's be real. I'm the one who killed Gus Freem. Say my name. Heisenberg? <laughs> Anyways, it's a good show. Really, really good show. Um, Pete says he really is going to love that. The Polymaker Metallic Dark Blue is his favorite. Uh, fa- oh, it's his favorite filament. If you have some print the... Uh, print the- oh, I'm going to have to do that. Um, so we were I watching. I think I like that. I think Loyal showed it off on his show before, and I really like that. Was a very, very pretty filament. Um, we were. T- I smoked it. Brad, uh, uh, you crack me up, man. It really is the breaking <laughs> best car. Um, anyways, so yes, more Star Wars celebration talk. Yeah, absolutely. We're gonna. Get I've there not necessarily heard very many good things. Hey, Ty Durden. He has one I, I, I haven't heard. I haven't heard anything about Star Wars Celebration, but all the things that I've heard coming out from like the well, things that they're announcing are really exciting. So, so the announcements are great. How it's being run, according to people on Reddit, is kind of. So let's talk about this for a second too. Somebody, I feel really bad for people um, that celebration this year. So for the first time ever, Ewan McGregor <laughs> did celebrity photo ops <laughs> with um, people at Star Wars Celebration in Anaheim in 2022. That was the first time he's ever been to any convention, any con, anything yep. like that. He had such a wonderful time that he's been doing more cons. Like I think he's just straight up mm-hmm. done Comic Con. He's done some other even like smaller cons, maybe Dragon Con. And so he's at Star Wars Celebration in London and literally yesterday i don't know 12 hours before his photo op went live for people to like the the, the photos have been bought months ago the opportunities but before oh, wait are you talking day, hockey hockey tighter in um anyways okay. so seconds before his photo op went like you know whatever yesterday they announced due to covid protocols for his movie contracts you cannot stand by oh, him God. You have to be on the other side instead of using a piece of plexiglass. Look who's here. Oh, Builder's Mark! I will have something to show you, Builder's Mark, in just a second. Um, anyways, you, so they're going to put no plexiglass, but they're going to put R two D two between you and him. And R two D two is actually somewhat wide, like a full size R two D two. Temperature scan, no handshakes, no touching them, which is just a complete bummer. Because when we got to meet him, he put his so arms what, around what both What movie is he going to be in? That they're... we don't know. We, I don't Jeremy know. I did hop up. on his IMDb. And there's like a ton of stuff coming up. He's Voice in, work and stuff like that. He's in six upcoming Obi-Wan projects. Obi-Wan season two? Well, pfft, That'd be great. That's not announced yet, but he's in six upcoming projects. And so one of the movies just aired and has got really good reviews, and it hit, it's him and his daughter playing in it. it but it, it premiered cool. at South by Southwest. Why can't I watch it? Why, where, where can you watch film festival films? Will it ever be released to the public, Chris? I'm sure it will be eventually on something um, random. Th- th- some sort of streaming platform somewhere. Otherwise, like, distribution's a whole other ball of wax type of thing. So, like, it, usually when something gets entered into a film festival, they're looking for distribution. <laughs> so whoever ends up picking it up will decide if it goes to Got a theatrical it. release or to Amazon or to Netflix or whatever. So. Uh, Builder's ears must have been ringing. So Darth Gallum, we're going to get to Star Wars Celebration talk in just a second. But since Builder's Mark is here, we're going to show him in person. Builder's Mark, check these out. Cam's ankle is in the building and just dropped these off for you. Cam's ankle or Cam's foot stayed at home, though. (laughs) Blue Beskar ingots. Custom made blue Beskar ingots. And I know that he must have been working on these until the last minute to get him here today. So these are for you, my man. They're beautiful. You have two. Well, I think they're. But he's the one who asked for blue. I think he's the one who. Can, <laughs> That's Cam's good. ankle. Yeah, that is between you and Cam's ankle. You. Okay, <laughs> so what, what you owe us is giving me a little bit of leeway when I'm doing my streams. That's <laughs> what you owe us. Uh, uh, so yes, these are for you. Uh, they turned out wonderful. They look really, really mm-hmm. good. And uh, Dude, I'll, oh, I'll he's got them. more. So, when, when I'm at work, we're gonna go to the ultra wide because I'm talking now. <laughs> when I'm so all of my stuff that I print for the most part ends up going to work with me, and I just have it like sitting around in my office. That's fun. And nobody comes into my office like ever. So like I'm jealous. <laughs> Did you hear that? No. Oh. The- <laughs> They made like a really horrible noise. You what did? Print's gonna fail at the my print. Yeah, at the last one. It'll still work, but it, what? it looks fine so far. Oh, you're printing your helmet upside down. No, or? no, that's the sandpaper holder. Oh, nice. That nobody else can see but us. Nice. You look so. You're talking about nobody ever coming into your into your oh. office, and then like suddenly you looked behind you. I was like. 
Well, yeah, like, literally, I heard for weed. <laughs> <laughs> and it's like, <laughs> did not hear that. That's wow, crazy. something you definitely don't want to hear. Well, I found, especially out when you're like twenty something hours into a print. That uh, did Dave pack? say he heard it? No, I didn't hear it. Oh, okay. But Discord must have. I found out, it out. On anyway. The Max, Chris, that jetpack was pretty much the tallest that the Max could print, or pretty darn close. Because when I started the helmet after that, once it heats the nozzle, you know it rises up a little bit. It went to rise, and I just hear click, 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 click. I'm like, what the heck? And it was maxed out and trying to go higher. No way. <laughs> that is tall. The jetpack yeah. is massive. I, I think there was maybe a quarter inch left. Actually, David, all in all, that might be the biggest volume-wise thing we anything's ever been printed in our group of friends. How long did this take to print? Uh, no, the helmet I printed took longer. Oh, no, really? not length. Volume. Volume of grams of filament. Like, this is hefty. Yeah, probably, I guess. That's 1,500 grams. Yeah. Dang. On, on average, our helmets are between 800 and 11, or like 800 and 1,100, depending on the size. Because what was the most recent helmet slice you did? I think it was 12, 1,100 maybe. Uh, Builders Mark's pinned comment. Chris, you must have pinned that comment. Oh, yeah. <laughs> we may or may not order things online. That's all I'm saying. Poor Chris. I'll, I'll tell you the abridged version, Kara, since you weren't there. Kay. I will tell you the abridged version. Kay. He did an Instacart order, and they delivered to the wrong address. What? So. I'd be so mad. And Chris even said, like, hand it to me. Yeah. And well, they the, handed the, it to two, somebody here. There's two things, or three things, actually, since we're getting into this, that <laughs> repeat for three people on this planet. So, thing one, so Instacart has always taken a photo for the delivery when they just, if they just drop it off, right? And even when they hand it to me, they still take a photo of it on the front porch before they knock on the door and hand it to you. Right, to prove it. So you can it. confirm where it is. No photo. Thing two, the GPS, where you deliver to where I live, takes you to the wrong spot. So in the notes section of everywhere, I say, don't use the GPS. And when you're looking at the doors, so my, my house number is like 1234 street name unit X, right? On the door, it says 123X, the street I live on. Or 1234X, I mean. So it, it takes the unit number and sticks it at the end of my four-digit house code. So I tell them, it's like, my on the address, look for 1234X, not 1234-whatever, right? Interesting. And 99.9% .9 of deliveries are successful if they read that note. And you triggered so, so she a builder's disregarded mark. Disregarded or didn't him. care about the note. And just took the Jeep because the GPS takes you next door. Right. And that's the only place it could have been. But like, I'm not just going to wander over there and be like, hey, do you guys get a bunch of free groceries for no reason? Well, that's just it, too. The people should have said, seriously, I these groceries. Like, well, so, and because and, 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 I've seen it happen before because like my, my window face is where people go. I'll see a car drive up and like spin around and then spin around again and then park anyway. And then I see the people walk up, then walk back in their car and then drive back over here. I've seen it happen. So it's like, if these people, like, I, I've had like regular like food orders get dropped off the wrong place, like all the time, right? So like, these guys are just like getting fat off of my bad orders. So I get my money back, but they're just getting all this free stuff because the stupid GPS is wrong. I would be so mad. Like Swanky, we tried to redeem a blackout. It's oh. coming. Oh, it is coming. That's so cool. I love how that looks. Anyway, so nobody visits me in my office at work. My office is so far away from anywhere reasonable um, that like people never come in. But so like I have all my stuff in there. So the people that do come in like are always like, oh, got any new fun stuff or whatever that you've made today or whatever. And uh, Magic is Whatever. gone. That's good enough. <laughs> so, <laughs> so the ingot that I got, like that test ingot, um, I have I have a fan in my office. And my office is crazy hot, so I'm literally using it as a paperweight to hold down my my notes. I, so I, it's sitting right on top of all That's this stuff. Cool, so though. people come in and they'll see it and like, "What's that?" And I'll hand it to them. And they're like, "Whoa, it's so heavy and it's so cool." And like, none of them have seen Mando. the Mandalorian. Yeah. <laughs> but like everybody that comes into my office is like, "This is freaking sick." That's so cool. I have two coworkers so. that have yeah. seen. Where are the Mando? Where are the laser beams? 
Oh, they're not even probably on, right? Those machines had to no. get turned on, David. Yeah, I didn't plug it in. Got it. David didn't plug I them can in. Plug it in. <laughs> That's all right. I'm gonna plug Hello, there, Jill. Oh, oh, oh! That <laughs> looks cool. <laughs> I swear it tastes just like you're vaping. Not that. How I do you know? Not that I would know what vaping is tastes like, but. Maybe. So what is va- what, what is vaping taste like? Like the, the like smoke is stuck <laughs> in this fog machine fog. Can anybody confirm or deny? All your amateurs out there with your jewels, oh, there I get a fog machine. <laughs> I get a whole machine to do it for me. Let's just say if Jeremy vaped, there'd be words. It's so bad for you. Um, Ryan did a wheel spin. So we do it where no one can see, and we'll just tell you what it is. Yeah, Kara, you spin it. Kara. Okay, hold on to it. The nut's loose. You're unscrewing it. I'll wait until it stops. Hot, Honest, unfiltered, unfiltered opinion. opinion. It was right, also Jeremy Mega Walk. Who required that? Ryan. Um, Ah. Ryan, what are, what's, our, what's your honest, unfiltered opinion Brad that you want us to discuss? That I vape while packing sh- parachutes. I mean, maybe. Just I have kidding. a funny Wait. story about that, might I add. You have a funny story? What's no, your funny story? Vaping with parachutes. Okay, so tell it. We're waiting. I legitimately have a funny story about every possible thing you could ever imagine. So, so talk about we it. We got a new guy, and this is when vaping just came out. And he, his nickname was Tyson. He, he said, oh, you can do this anywhere because it's just water vapor. And right there in the parachute shop, new guy, had been there for like three days, whips out a vape and just starts vaping right in the shoot shop. And no. I had to tell him, like, you can't do that here. Like, this is a climate controlled, humidity and temperature controlled room. <laughs> Parachute needs to be at a certain level. We can't be having your vape juice land on the parachute and soil oh the fan. Can you imagine somebody does an investigation as to why a pilot died because of a parachute failed deployment? <laughs> Correct me if I am and wrong. And they trace it back to him vaping in that oh room. Oh my gosh, can you imagine? Correct me if I'm wrong, because I truly am not 100% sure here. Vape juice is an oil, correct? Yes. Right? I think so. It and there's like sugar and stuff in it. It, it, it. it works the same way like the fog machine works. It, get, it gets aerosolized through a heater coil, and then you're breathing in the vapor. And so it clearly says in our te- technical order, no dirt, grease, or oil stains are, like, are allowed to get on the canopy. So, yes, I had a valid reason to, to kick them out of the room for vaping in there because I'm like you can if oil gets and on also, there. And also the Air Force is for squares and vaping's too cool for the Air Force. <laughs> yeah. Darkest Nights, right. welcome Hello, to Hello, Darkest the Nights. I am really excited to talk about Star Wars, though. Are we allowed to talk about the most recent episode of Mando? Are we going to keep talking about Star Wars Celebration? We're going to, but okay, I want to talk okay, about the most recent right, episode right, of Mando. All right, all right. Has anybody well, in I, here not seen really the new episode of Mando? I'm going to do a poll. Okay. Oh, Whoops, Cam, that's, Cam that's and Blasi. I, I haven't either. I don't want that. Oh, David uh, has what? That's what I was going to talk about, Darth Gallum. <laughs> Okay. That's what I was going to talk about. Hey, right. guys. Spoil I, mean, I don't care. But. Yes. No. Stone Monkey hasn't yeah. seen any of season three? What? You know? Tisk, well, tisk. You, can, you can vote in the poll. Great, Scott. I know, Darth Gallum. <gasps> I'm so, I'm so. Chris, did you see the meme I sent you earlier? Because that was what I was going to talk about. Did you send me a meme yeah, earlier? Yeah, check, you check your Facebook messenger. I did. I don't think you did. I'm going to show Kara, too, while we're waiting. What are we showing me? Well, it's spoilers. I think, I think Jeremy's but... full of what the children call fecal matter. <laughs> Kara's enjoying it. You can say that, but I don't see her enjoying it. <laughs> oh, that's funny. That's funny. I enjoy that. Stone Monkey doesn't have Disney+, Plus, so... You can borrow ours. Reach out to me on... Well, so here's an interesting thing that I learned. If you're you, should I say this on the internet? I don't care. It's I don't fine. Care. On so, on Discord, if you're using Firefox, you can share your screen of like Amazon or Disney Plus or whatever, so you can watch like movies together. Well, that's cool. So really? That's how Ryan and I like watch movies together. So maybe we do like a like a ROTP. Uh, watch stream share thing or something okay. well, that could be, be fun cool. when we watch the episodes or something mm-hmm. the pcphysics.com that's not a meme jeremy 
You're so funny. You saw the meme, didn't you? Is that the FTL you were looking for? You are so funny. You were dancing right around it. Chris is just trolling right now. No, he saw it. He saw it. It's pretty good. Um, I, you, you know what we need? You know what we need? We need a big red button on the set. Okay, for what? Do. That turns everything red. Just, we can talk about spoilers. Back to... All right, this, we'll this talk about it connecting. Later. They're not connecting for me. Um, okay. So, anyways, all right. First yeah, things first. People voted to spoil. Me. Oh my gosh, it's so close. Five to four. That's too close. I know two people in the audience here haven't seen it, so we'll. Three people haven't seen it. Will ROT watch parties? I'm in. See, Cam loves it. Cam loves the idea. Um, okay. That's a good idea. So, Star Wars Celebration. So, Soka was the first big one, and you said Chris they released a second trailer for Indiana Jones. Yep. So it's almost guaranteed as a time travel movie at this point. I did not see the second trailer, but I have loved the first trailer. I also didn't realize Kara hadn't seen even the first trailer. So I put that up the other day. And who here is a big fan of Indiana Jones? Oh, yeah. I am so excited for it. So even when that movie comes out. Um, but they've so next thing that Star Wars Celebration has done, they laid out a timeline and they went, here's all the things that we're going to make. And here's where it falls in the timeline. And I really like that they did that. So they are making a movie all the way back in the Old Republic times, which is going to be really, really cool. I think actually way further earlier than that, like at the beginning of the Jedi era. And then, um, yeah, so you're saying further back, right? Like even. Are you pumped? Are, you're pumped. Yeah. Blazzy's pumped. So they're going to be, and it's it's supposed to be epic. And then um, Ray is returning. She's going to be, why are you doing that face? I'm excited. It could no, be I, good. I, so they're, they, they have an opportunity to actually make her a character as opposed to just a collection of powers. Okay, fine. Yeah. But and, if they just jack off and do a horrible job. I don't think there's going to be any jacking off, Kara. <laughs> you know what no. I mean? You know what I mean? Is this Indiana Jones? Yeah, I love trailer Harrison two. Ford. <laughs> Well, in that case, what's we drinking? Same, Same for, for the God God. Dad, Dad told, told me you found something, something. on a train, train during, during the war. A dial that, that could change the course, course of history. history. Why are you chasing the thing that drove your father crazy? Don't move. Please, Please get out of here. This is so much better than the first trailer, only because it's actually providing context. Yeah. Don't out your rules. Get in him. It will make me stay. And then this, this, I will correct them all. You stole no it. Way. Then you stole it. And then I, I stole, stole it. it. It's called cool. Countess, isn't it? She's built. There might be some turbulence. What's his name again? You've taken chances. Made mistakes. Talk about that. And now, now a final call. The digital behavior. Absolutely. Yeah. Seriously. Yeah. John Rice Davies. Yes. Yeah. 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 I've been torturing you. Torture. 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 Once by your father. Sorry. I've been looking for this. That's amazing. The, look, there's the Ahsoka trailer right afterwards. It's so funny. No, we don't yeah, need to watch we'll, it. We'll, 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 we'll hold on to that for just a second. Okay. So Mike resubbed. But I want to ask Thank Mike, what the heck are you doing? You. Are you supposed to be on vacation? Mike, Wait, you're supposed to be on vacation. Where are you? Like, where'd you Dropping go? Dropping to say hello from Georgia, ah. he says. Ah. Uh. He's on his way to Florida. Brace yourself, Kara. <laughs> oh, man. Oh. <laughs> The shooter took offense to the nut shots, so now he's I'm getting shot in the armpit. The, the, the emblem got blown off of the spinner wheel. That is a good shot. I'll tell you what. 
<laughs> oh man, Who's Indiana Jones here. <laughs> yeah, right. Um, so not a stormtrooper. What? That movie comes out on my sister's birthday. That's gonna what be does? really fun. That, Indiana, Indiana Jones. Oh, Indiana. Five. Um, I am so pumped. I am so pumped. It was fun to see the trailer. Although, I can't see who spun the wheel. So, who Cam you, did? Who would you say is the villain? Who is the villain? He, he I, I he know was, him. He's the bad he's, guy. He's Casino from Royale. Casino Royale. No, yeah. what's his name? He's in other things too, and I can't think of his name. Somebody uh, put posts. What's the What's his name? The bad guy's name. I'm trying my best I can here. Yeah, that stinks. Jurgen Voller. What Sounds else is he right. in? Oh, Mads Mikkelsen. Mads Mikkelsen. Okay, is. yeah. So he's gonna be Thrawn. No, he's not. That's Lars. Mikkelsen. Lars Mikkelsen. Sorry, Mikkelsen's I get those brother, two mixed up. I think or cousin or something. I can't remember. They're related. They are related. Are, are you serious? <laughs> That's unfortunate, Jerry. You, you have to do this one in outer space. <laughs> oh, See you, Mike. Thanks for stopping by. Thank you, Mike. I wish we had some like crazy strobe lights and like he should be out in space. We should turn the spotlight on him. Like, I'll here. I'll, I'll, I'll try. <laughs> That's so good. That's so good. Uh, yeah. He said yeah. he was in a number of other things: Dumbledore, Doctor Strange, and Hannibal. Did we? We did. Did we watch Dumbledore? Yes, we. No. What? He was in Dumbledore. <laughs> is Dumbledore? You mean no? Fantastic Beasts is the only other movies that have come out. Mm-hmm. Are you talking about that one? The newest one. Oh, you're right. He is. He 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 is. The, he was the new bad guy. Took over for Johnny Depp. Brad, the only right. saving grace I have for the chip is going to see these videos is when he's older. If for some reason anything were to happen to me, yeah, these are what he's going to learn about me from. He's got 200 he's episodes like, to catch up on. <laughs> he's gonna. He's also going to learn that he loved uh, our crap. What's the name of the monster truck? Bones. Bone, Bone shaker. Bone shaker. Everybody <laughs> says bone crusher. Shaker. Shaker. S h a k e r. Oh, so it sounds like he says bone shanker. <laughs> no, I get Can that. you imagine? I'm gonna shank that bone. <laughs> no, shank you with a bone. <laughs> oh, that's right. He was he was uh, Galen Urso. Yeah. That's oh, right. he yep. is Galen yep. Urso. So he was We're a good guy. Street protocol droid. I'm trying to pin <laughs> chat, and it's double crossing me. <laughs> did you guys hear what Chat GPT did? You might find this what? interesting. Um, I, before you tell that story, I have a Chat GPT story. Okay. So, um, the uh, I'm a creative services director. That's my title. Yes. I am part of a group for the the super company that owns all these different television stations. Um, I'm in a creative services director only Facebook group and this we share ideas and stuff like that So somebody asked is anybody using chat GPT for work? And if so, what are your results? And I was like Time for me to write my dissertation <laughs> Well, right. It's like do you spoil do you spoil the beans on yourself though? Or do you you know? Well, no, so I, I Basically the essence of what I wrote is I've been obsessed with it outside of a work context for a long time 
and then applying it to work, the most valuable tool that it gives me is going to be past the the getting a first draft stage. Because even if it's 100% something I don't want to use for a promo or for a commercial, right? it starts your brain thinking about what you do want. It's one of those things where it's like, if, if, it, if there's a void, if there's an absence of anything, it's hard to pick something. But if you see something you don't like, it gives you a lot of answers about what you don't want it to be. So then it starts, it's like, well, if I don't want that, then what? It's like, it's just, it's a very good tool for helping shape the direction of something. And um, so that's, a, so from a creative standpoint, that's what I use it for. It's basically like dr- getting over the first draft of something. Secondly... It's so easy to write ad copy for clients if you can just scrape their website and paste in all this data about them. Then be like, write me a script telling them to buy kayaks from this outdoor store. Here's all their information, you know. And then again, it might not be great, but it helps you sculpt it out to be like, okay, this is the verbiage that I actually want to use. It's it's a very powerful, useful tool in that regard. So I'm only going off memory here. I'm sure it would be too hard to find this actual article, but ChatGPT aced. The medical licensing exam. It the a, MCAT? It got a thousand out of a thousand or whatever the purpose. Jeez. It got a perfect score. And then um, a doctor used right, it. Right, the MCAT. I'm not like going got crazy a here. Point two percent occurrence of a disease. It diagnosed something that only happens 0.2% of the time. So we've actually talked about this in the dental office. Um, <laughs> when reading radiographs, AI can detect cancer like months before a human would have been able to detect it months same with cavities like you come in for like your normal cleaning an ai can look at your radiographs and be like that is the beginning of a cavity that no dentist would ever be able to see so so here's and here's why i think those specific instances work and here's where it's going to lag behind when you go to the doctor and you're like hey i got a rash you're only as good as the information that you put into the system mm-hmm. so when you if, if you just say hey chat gtp i have a rash it, what's the texture of it? What's the size of it? Where's its location? You know, what's, you know, the severity of the color. Mm-hmm. A, a picture might be able to do a good job, but like a normal interaction with a doctor, a doctor is going to look at it and be able to like, they can biopsy know, they're, and stuff well, they're like going to know what they're looking at, right? They're right. going to see size, intensity, you know, whatever, whatever, whatever. Cause mm-hmm. you're only as good well, as the if, data you if, put If in. you think about it, the same way that you train a doctor how to identify a rash is the same way you can train an AI how to identify a rash though. Well, so, so what Kara's talking about though is looking at specific pictures. Mm-hmm. That's probably really easy for it to detect because it can pick up on like the actual raw image data and probably well, look at and, that. Well, and then the same thing for like just getting a hundred or a thousand, a thousand out of a test or whatever, like anything that has a defined question and answer sequence is so easy for it to learn. Right. If it asks me about the quality of something and I have all the information about the quality of that thing, it's always going to get that right. You know, <laughs> Pratt, I asked chat to you, Pete, you talk dirty to me, which it probably didn't. And so he said, well, Carol will be out of a job soon. Well, here's the thing. You got some explaining to do. Dentists are the ones who are supposed to read radiographs for uh, cavities and stuff. I just pick crap out of people's teeth that they can't do themselves. So can a robot arm ever do your job? (sighs) If a head was completely immobilized, I bet it could. Eventually, someday. So I know, and Cam's it ankle. It sounds like knows. a saw okay. movie. You're like sitting there with like this. No, no, just wait. Phone, right. Phone fell off. Cam's ankle like, and I, when you do machining and you set your zero point, right? You got to like <laughs> probe and find zero. So everybody's teeth are different. So you'd have to like zero out on each tooth. And could you imagine the liability if it like miss, like, you know, an end stop on a 3D printer, you know, it's like, and it just starts cleaning your gums instead Can of your you, teeth. Oh, that would hurt so bad. So what I'm thinking, nanobots. Nanobots. No, hell yeah. Nanobots. Let's get, I'm 100% all in on nanobots. I feel like nanobots I are feel, science fiction. I feel like. You're science fiction. You're a thumb, Jerry. Here's, no, okay, here's the thumb. thing. Get it right. At one point, okay. everything that we have right now was science fiction. Ah, no. Our watches, no, no. our watches, complete yeah, science crazy. fiction. You know, this is a kid's show. I'm just saying. It's Richard Tracy. <laughs> I think Don't be a Dick Tracy, Jeremy. I think at some point, a lot of what we consider science fiction will be possible. I don't know about nanobots. Why not? Because they're so small. Bre- Cam's ankle? <laughs> See? <laughs> There's a lot I, I, oh, you could be so agreeing with me. I agree with that me. That was a head yeah. nod. See? See? Suck it. That point was indiscriminate. <laughs> In comparison, though, Jeremy, nanobots aren't that small. If you look at how big computers were when they first came out. Exactly. The size they are now. 
a, a computer that was less than what we're using right now would have filled this room. Okay, this is a weird example, but we're gonna go there. I recently learned, because I ship out a bunch of stuff. You guys know UPS's, USPS's flat rate shipping boxes, right? Mm -hmm. Did you know they have an actual weight limit? Really? Do you know it's impossible to reach that weight limit? Because even if you put the densest material inside the box, it still doesn't weigh enough to go over their minimum weight limit. What well, that would avoid dwarf star. If you well, if okay, if you were to be able to plausibly, <laughs> what's the densest material on Earth? Do you know? Jeremy's brain. Oh, ba -da -ba -ba -da. So oh. we know we know lead. He's <laughs> so funny. We know lead's really dense, right? If you were to just fill it with like it's a like block tungsten of tungsten or something like that, I like think it could be dense. tungsten. Tungsten's extremely dense. If you were to put tungsten in there. It's still going to be under 70 pounds inside the flat rate shipping box. That's what if, if you're shipping that much tungsten, you're going to get insurance on it because that's a lot of tungsten. Well, you can put it in a flat rate shipping box. So nanobots, there's got to be an actual law of physics that's going to restrict something from being made that small. That's all I'm saying. I don't know. I think it's possible. Look at atoms. That, that, that's just it. How do you make... Something the size of an atom but out of the building blocks themselves. Aren't the si and nanobots no, no, aren't the size of an atom. Nanobots are like cellular sized. <sighs> so like, I, it, I think it's possible. Cam Zinkel it's, thinks it's possible. The, uh, Einsteinium apparently is the densest element. What's bigger than nano? Mano. Not Jeremy. <laughs> so you've got micro, what, micro, okay. microbots I can get on board with. I'll get on board oh, with fine. microbots. Fine, microbots. You know, you'd be able to. Simple nanobots already exist. Uh, send one to me. <laughs> so, yeah, in a flat rate box surrounded by tungsten. There, can, look at Cam. Any sufficiently advanced science will appear to the natives as magic. Well, I'm a the, native. My like, quote of the day from Brad is my absolute favorite. Which one is that? The, uh, I, I'm trying to bum, find bum, it. Bum. I, I pinned it. It's coming back around. Oh, did I miss it on here? Well, anyways, microbots oh, here it is. Here I'll get it on board. So, Carol, what are you going to do with your nanobots then? I'm just saying, eventually, honestly, nanobots could probably clean teeth. Okay, all right, all right, okay, hold on. Things in motions tend to stay in motion. So, if we had a. Things in motions? If, if we had a piece <laughs> of paper up, upright on the floor and it was standing mm -hmm. upright, okay, and a Nerf ball came at it, a piece of paper, you know, it might actually be able to, like, the Nerf ball will stop. And it, you know, we'll go the other way. Okay. Because the, the Nerf ball doesn't have a lot of mass. Right. Mm -hmm. So then a bowling ball comes running at the piece of paper. The piece of paper ain't going to stop the bowling ball. It's going to just get bowled right over. Well, they'd be programmed to like know the difference between calculus and, and enamel. But okay. So then how is a nano bot going to remove the calculus when it doesn't even have enough mass to like jackhammer it away? I don't know. You've said it's as strong as cement. <laughs> that is being f like, that's just me saying it's hard to get off. It is nowhere near as strong as cement. Yeah, what, you, what? Know what, you know what a metaphor is. Oh, right? no. Yeah. Well, hold on a second. Our relation, this is crazy. She said brushing cannot remove calculus because it is as hard as cement. That is what you told I have me. never said that. Can you use a toothpick to get rid of calculus? No. Can you use a toothbrush? No. So you have to use metal tools. Yes. So how hard is calculus? It depends. Okay, it's so here's the thing. 11th grade at least. It all depends on the makeup of your saliva. I have patients, you're sitting there scaling, goes tink, 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 just comes off super nice, super easy, delightful. Then there's people, it's like you're scraping and scraping and scraping and scraping and scraping. You're like, holy fork balls, how long has this been on here? Hmm. It all depends. But like, you have to use metal tools. The pH of your mouth, yeah. Like a person at home cannot ever get rid of calculus on their own. Correct. Unless they used a metal tool which I highly discourage. Please don't do that. I heard a story. If they told us a story in school of a dentist who was cleaning his own teeth at home. His elbow slipped off his countertop and the tool went right into his gums and bone. Don't do it. All I'm saying is I never thought I had to be the show that gave a disclaimer. Do not try this at home. If you take dental cleaning advice from me, no. Don't. Don't do it. Let's compare Jeremy's teeth Jeremy to does. my teeth. <laughs> and don't take dental. Don't use metal tools. All I'm saying is Kara just said, can't remove calculus yourself, basically. Yes. You can remove plaque as much as you want, and but not plaque calculus. plaque turns into calculus. Mm -hmm. Sorry. We're plaque is like the fuzzies that. that you fill on your teeth. We're supposed to be talking about Star Wars, not about plaque. Although one of the recent enemies in Mandalorian looks like he could be made out of plaque. That's all I'm saying. Mm -hmm. The pirate. Are you, are you referencing the, the green one? Yes. That guy's crazy. <laughs> <laughs> See, Cam's ankles laughing at it. All right, well, okay. No, I, I feel like you breezed over the best joke I had tonight when you asked how hard calculus was. What'd Tell you say? 
I said, I don't know about 10th or 11th grade. <laughs> Boo. Uh, uh, uh. Absolute boo. Okay, so I do make that joke to some of my patients because I would say the average person knows calculus is tartar, right? I did not know that until right now. So, well, if you ask the average person, like, the buildup on their teeth, a lot of them will say tartar. So, um, I will some occasionally bust out the joke and be like, yeah, so I'm just cleaning calculus off your teeth and no, it's not the math. Oh, man. <laughs> and people request to come back and see you? Uh, all of my patients request to come back oh, to me. Oh, humble brag over there. Just saying. Oh, they all request. Just saying. Just they saying. I've got some back. loyal, some very loyal patients. <laughs> Crazy. You know what, guys? Just enjoy so the why, weird jokes that I make to my patients. Why do they sell tartar control toothpaste? It's because it's a joke. What? What about all the people here who have tartar? Buy at Spencer's. Like, look at this fun toothpaste. I have tartar control. <laughs> it is all the same. It literally all the same. Well, what about Macaulay Culkin? He said, "Is this toothbrush approved by the American Dental Association? Does that matter?" I mean, toothbrush and toothpaste are different. Huh? Well, well, toothbrush and toothpaste are different, Jeremy. All I can say is, don't ever buy a toothbrush any harder than soft. Don't ever do it. I will find you. I'm just kidding. <laughs> is it because yeah, hard bristles will remove your enamel? No, it, it can abrade. I would say it would abrade more the um, cementum if you have exposed roots, but what it does so mostly. What's cementum? Cementum is what your root is made out of. It's a lot softer than the enamel of your tooth. Um, but no, what it, it will do more is cause recession. To your gums. So too. then you expose the root, Got it. which then can be worn away from that hard bristle brush. So don't do it. So our nanobots going to go on there and they're going to like grab your root and then, or not your root, but grab your gums and like pull it back up like a blanket, cover up the cementum. Unfortunately, that's not how it works. If you wanted to do that, you'd have to do pinhole treatment. Why can't nanobots do that? Because you would need to l literally like poke little holes in the gums and stuff like that. So it has something oh, to stretch holes. and heal. I don't know. I've never had it done. I've never seen it done. I don't ever want to see it done. I think they could do it. Nope. Of course, wasting time, Bryce. Is so, bristle brushes from the dollar store. On the dentist subreddit that I w I'm watching, like, not watching, but I'm I'm following. Somebody was like, "So I have some recession. If I sit and I just push continually push my gum up, will it go back?" And everybody was like, "No. If that's the way it works, that's what everybody'd be doing." But no. <laughs> you know what you need is a series of tax cuts and, and aggressive investing in the economy. <sighs> All right, before we go back and start talking about Star Wars, I have a fun thing that was put together by Cam's Ankle, nonetheless. Cam's Ankle. We Woo! talked about you guys doing bounties to earn an ingot. So tonight, we're going to be giving away an ingot, okay? And we're going to be doing an online scavenger hunt. Okay, so here is how this is going to work. We are going to provide Real quick, link. Jeremy, yes. before you do that, because I need to set this up, okay. can you text me the correct answers so I don't have to filter through the... Yes, yes, I can. Chris, did you clear the giveaway? So is that tighter it's, in? It's, I don't. It's, 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 this, we're not doing an enter. This is going straight okay. to whoever answers correctly the bounty. Gosh. Correct, Jeremy? Yes. Okay. I don't think I'm going to be, I don't think I have anything to worry about. Personally, I think dental would be the last thing they they would put nanobots towards, honestly. Especially hygiene. Like. Are you smart enough to transcribe a screenshot, Chris? Oh, Bradsworth. No. There's, there's. Yeah, I am. There's okay. ask dentists. There's hygiene or hygienists. There's, or dental hygiene. That's what's called. Uh, there's, oh gosh, there's another one. Dental, I think. Anyway, yeah. There's, a, there's a quite a few subreddits that are dental. Some pictures people post are real grody. So and people are embarrassed to go and I'm like, dude, just go in. Like, so what we are get going your stuff to, taken care of. What we are going to do we're gonna give you guys like a minute head start, and then we're gonna what? go through it as a group. Oh my gosh. Um, while we do this, Builder's Mark redeemed a wheel spin. Should we do it? Go ahead. Wait, I let me tighten up the I screw. I already did. Oh, okay. Did you tighten it tight? Nope. Yep. You didn't tighten it, did you? I did. I thought I did. Don't touch it. Okay, I thought I did. Add your name to the Laser Brain Hall of Fame. Woo! Yeah. It's almost a builder. Uh, oh, hey, you have a movie review to do. I too. do have a movie. We will review. do that after. 
so I didn't have time this week to watch um, Watership Down. So I'll be watching that next week. I did watch Duck Soup, though. Or do you want to talk? You know, Bradsworth, your cavities are your business. But I will just say... All of the decay and grossness that is sitting in the decay goes straight down to your heart. Kara cares about your well-being. I do. Truly My does. son likes you, Bradsworth, so please take care of yourself. Yeah, they spent one ride together. Yep. He likes you. Okay, Chris, are you ready? I need 20 more seconds. Okay, 20 more seconds. Well, or, Kara, do you want to do your movie review then quick? We can. All right, do your movie review. So, okay, name, what show did you watch? Duck Soup with the Marx Brothers. Is who that what it is, Marx Brothers? Who requested this one for you to watch? Stone Monkey Research. All right, Stone Monkey. Okay, so care. Didn't you also request Padma Inverted? Like, there's two completely different, different movies. Like, So tell us what you liked about Duck Soup. Okay, so my favorite scene in Duck Soup was the mirror scene. It was actually really funny. So, um... These, there's, there's, oh, I always forget his name, Firefly. Rufus T. Firefly. And he's the, like, the president, essentially, of Fredania. And um, he is planning to go to war with this other country. I can't remember the name of it. And so then there are two guys sent to spy on him. The two guys sent to spy on him, um, are trying to get these plans and so they sneak into the house he's staying at and they dress up as Groucho Marx who plays Rufus and uh so the one gets goes into this closet and um he's standing there and the the guy Rufus T Groucho Marx sees him but it looks like him and so he's like moving around like doing all these crazy things and every single thing he does the other guy does. I can't remember which of the Marx Brothers is him. But anyway, this goes on for like, I don't know, two or three minutes. I thought that was really funny. Like, I, I kind of got a good little, good little giggle out of it. So anyway, I, like, I liked the mirror, mirror scene. That's my favorite. What part didn't you like about it? <sighs> Just because I have brothers and I felt real triggered by it. The scene where they're outside the president's window. And have you guys seen this movie, Duck Soup? It's like 1938. Um, they're outside the president's window. They're selling peanuts. And then there's a guy next to him, next to them, who's selling lemonade. And the two guys running the peanut stand, they bust out into a fright, fight in front of the lemonade stand. The guy's like, hey, you know, don't break out into a fight in front of my lemonade stand. You're scaring my customers away. And because he said that, those two, like, they just terrorize the poor guy. Like, they take his hat and they're playing, like, pickle in the middle with it. And having played <laughs> pickle in the middle with my brothers, I was triggered. Never heard it called pickle in the middle. It's always pig in the middle. No, oh, pick. we called it pickle in the middle. I don't know. Anyway. um, So that, it just, I don't know. I, I felt like they were bullying this poor guy just because he told him not to bust out into a fight and scare away his customers. And, like, the one guy, he had, like, these massive scissors and he was constantly cutting things. Like... He cut the tailcoats off of this guy's jacket, and then he cut the, the the towel the lemonade guy had around his waist, and they cut this, that, and the other thing. And then they set the poor guy's hat on fire twice. <laughs> like... The 1938 humor. It was very slapstick. Like, I don't know. They were just coming out of the rage of uh, silent movies, and now they're like, we're going to use scissors to cut everything. Seriously. Um, would you watch this movie again? No offense, but probably not. Uh, understandable, understandable. No one's I'm sorry, right, Stone Monkey. Yep. Nope, definitely. All right, I've got it set up, Jeremy. Okay, and then last but not least, who would you recommend this movie to? I would say if you like, um, like Laurel and Hardy, or why am I blanking on Larry Moe Curly? It's three Stooges. It's three Stooges. Three Stooges. If you like them, I would say you'd probably love this. So I might like it. Probably. I love it. I love it. One of my favorite. <laughs> One of my favorite Three Stooges episodes is they're stuck in a barn and their soldiers are coming after them. And the, they're stuck in a barn with emus and the emus eat a bunch of grenades. <coughs> and so they don't know how to defend themselves. So they go to throw an egg at the invading soldiers. And it turns out the eggs are now the grenades. So they just keep <laughs> chucking eight and eggs at the, at the, at the oh army my soldiers gosh. and their grenades. It's, it's the best humor on the face of the planet. I'm sorry. Okay. 
Scavenger hunt. So here's how this is going to work. You are going to get a website that ends in, I think, index.html and ends in a .html. The, the last backslash to the .html, those are where you put the clues that you find. If you are on mobile, this might be a little bit trickier. If you're on a computer, well, you're probably going to win because it's way easier on a computer, but that's okay. Unless you're really good at your phone. Unless you're really good at your phone. You're going to be directed. Here's going to be a hint on the index page. It's going to bring you to a website. And there you're going to use the hint. I skipped the hint the first time I did it. There's a, oh, there was a sniper targeting my leg. Oh, j just for clarity, it ends like this. Yep. It, it, well, something, so backsplash index.html. Index.ht. Whatever the link is we give you. And you're going to replace okay. the word index with the next clue that you get from the page you visit. Okay. So you put a lot of work into this. Uh, not me. Cam Cam's ankle. Cam's ankle. I wasn't, I wasn't going to give you credit. <laughs> <laughs> Does that look correct? That is 100% correct. So we're going to give them like a 30 second head start. And then we're going to start going through it as a group together. Do we know what they're winning? I do know what they're winning in ingot. Ooh, so you're going to get it paid for doing what? that. This, this mission. Yes. We will watch the Ahsoka trailer. Who asked about that? But after this. Brad. Oh, Bradsworth. All right. So, Chris, go ahead. Post the link in chat. Do it. Do it. Do um, it. When oh, you gosh. go to the last page, correct me if I'm wrong, Cam's ankle. Hold on. So I they'll be given a word or a, the answer. Transcribe the link. They type the answer in chat. They just type the answer in chat. So Cam is ready. Here we go. Wait, what? I don't understand. I sent you a link. You just take the link, post it in chat, and then we're going to go to that me, page. Oh, you, you sent me... You, you, uh, what, no, the last link you sent was that PC physics, physics link. Let me double check. Did you send it on Discord or something? No, I don't think so. I'll just resend it to you, though. Okay. Maybe sending this one will push the other one through. Or probably. It's like I got that. Uh, so I got the screenshot. Yep, and it's not in the screenshot. This is wildly entertaining. You know what? Maybe I didn't send it to you. <gasps> no, oh, I wait. did send it. Oh, how long ago? Ooh, I hear. I heard you get something. It went blue in my ear. Okay, so post that, or I can post it in chat too. But I mean, it's true. Oh, so this was the link. Yes. Okay, so I I have a okay. There you go, everybody. So, what? Okay, all right. So they're going through it. Chris, why don't you just pull that up? Can you pull it up on screen for everybody? Be the moment things would lose connection. No Try Claude, did you lose connection? Okay, yeah, there you go. Okay, so here's what it says. It says rules. These are there are no rules. Is that what it's? Is that what it says? Yeah. Uh, first person to enter the final message in chat wins the bounty. Okay, so the first mission, you must visit our friends at Bad X. So if you click that link, uh, find the last name of the king of making of making axes. Uh, his first name is Henry, I believe. This is me reading microscopic chat. So go ahead and click the link. Once you find that answer, you will replace the index in the .html with the thing. So Chris, give people another couple seconds before you blurt out the answer. Okay. But so, like, j just for I don't I don't know if you can see this or not, but like the 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 last one, like th this is supposed to be the the last answer. Uh, there's I believe there's one more. I can I don't know. All if right, you're well, you're gonna have to tell there. me that now so I can change it. Okay, let me look it up. Or is it this one? I'll look in our our text history. Like the very bottom thing? Oh, come on. I'm going to go there. This is... Oh, know. hold on. I think... Somebody already get it? I think so. Oh, they're posting the current answer. That's the answer to the first one. You got to go through a couple. Okay, Way to so go. You gotta, just text me what the last answer is, Jeremy. I will. And hurry because I got to change this as the action here. I'm hurrying. I'm jumping right to the last one. Of course, I spelt it wrong. No. <laughs> <laughs> so 
So, I'll just text you roughly what it is so you know. Will that work? Well, uh, they got to spell it right. Okay, I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna text you roughly. You're gonna laugh when you get this. Don't laugh too hard. Okay, so Chris, you should be able to go and go back to the uh, or in the URL, replace so the word. Is it that whole thing, or is it just the last word of that? Ju so just replace index with Destin. Oh, th that's the answer. We'll, we'll figure that's out when we get the whole answer. There. Well, I, you're trying to put this in a streamer bot. Yeah. All right. I, I think I think this will work. Okay. I think this will work. Okay, so I'm going here. Does Chris know the answer? Uh, I texted it. I you. hope so. Oh, gotcha. <laughs> so I go. Yep. And then dot HTML. Oops. Or well, you got to go back to the the index page. So you're on the new page. So go back to the index page. This is where the, I am. the page that you put in chat, oh, Chris. Oh, oh, yep, oh. yep, yep. So now replace it with the next one. So replace this. Uh, it's cut off, but I'm assuming you're doing it right. That is. You might have went too far back. You got to keep the RLTP stuff. Oh, do I? That's why we're doing this together. Damn, connection issues in 404. So if you get a 404, it means you either entered in the wrong clue. Oh, there you go. Chris got the. Um, or it's, it's not spelled correctly. All right, Chris is going on to the next one. All right. You click that one. And then what was the clue there, Chris? The clue is, again, visit our friends over at Bad Axe Toolworks, number nine, Tenensaw. What what is the odd word used to describe the curved, exposed toe end of the saw? It's a four letter word, not a cuss word. Aha, <laughs> uh -huh, I know nice. what this one is. I'm gonna give it five seconds, or I'll let you I'll let you ask, uh, guess what it is, Chris. It's a four letter word. And this is you, tough. <laughs> I have no idea. Okay, so right underneath that W, it says Ogie curved. Ogie curved okay. right there. Ogie is the answer to the second puzzle. Ogie. Um, Brad claims his pictures are literally on the dentist subreddit. Wait. I can't tell if he's being serious or facetious. Yeah, seriously. Which subreddit are you on and which questions did you have? Hey, try clock on it. Ogie is the next one. Ogie is the next one. So then replace distant or whatever with Ogie. Correct. Okay. Is it Ogie or OG? Oh, OG. Yeah. Boom. OG. I was right. I was, so leave it to me to pronounce <laughs> words incorrectly. Words are hard. Okay, so Titan of CNC is an incredible, he has a YouTube channel all about CNC. -ing. His videos are absolutely insane. He does the EDM puzzles where there's zero tolerance and they fit together. And once the puzzles are together, you cannot see the seams. That's how tight a tolerance is he can do. So we're going to go visit him and we are going <laughs> to look at the name of the nickname of the hammer. Or what kind of hammer is, is on that page. So, Bradsworth, there there are some tells. Oh, Bradsworth. How'd that get through the content filter? It was Brad. I'm just saying there are some tells. Brad has okay. free and clear. So, the, uh, the question was about what kind of hammer is the Titan HT? I'm going to let you figure it out, Chris. I mean, I think I can figure it out. So, there's only two. No more, no less. <laughs> a master well, a Sith hammer <laughs> <laughs> and and I mean it's I, I, I know it's right there Is anybody caught up in chat yet 
Anybody caught up in chat yet? Oh, whoops. <laughs> no, you're good, Chris. I, I got to say, the, like, the, the mechanics of it are a little, are, once I understood it, it makes total sense. But, like, being able to actually do it, definitely need a browser. It's, it would be almost impossible in mobile, I think. <laughs> oh my gosh, Brad! Actually, that's that is. Whoa! Oh, somebody won. Bear, Bear did, Jew, congratulations! Whoa! Woo Bear Jew flows flew through it. Dang! <laughs> yes. <laughs> Do you want to know why it's Jeremy's underpants? Because we see it every dang episode. <laughs> <laughs> so, Baraju, congratulations. You've won an ingot. I don't believe he's won an ingot. I don't think so. So, when luck isn't on your side, you just got to take hand, take your ta uh, time into your own hands and uh, complete a bounty. Congratulations, Baraju. Can we get a round of applause for Baraju? He cruised through it. We should have something funny that we say, like, oh, you have completed this bounty well, no, as so, payment. Um, what Chris did was he was saying Cam's ankle. If it's a one word answer, or not even a one word answer, but if it's a thing, he can make streamer bot pull the first person who gets it correctly. Oh, nice. And and, uh, and then trigger it because it was that. Did you do the laugh too, Chris? Yep. That was sick. So that's John the Hunt who uses bounty hunters. That's so Solid. cool. Solid. That is awesome. So congratulations, Bear Jew. That was really cool. Cam's so, angle. That was awesome. So the first one, it was. It has an old get? like a fun huh? old school. How far did you get? I I didn't I, on the phone. It's it. I am not good with my phone. You're so funny. What? Well, we got together. I knew what the answer was. We got to me. we got to the Titan Hammer, which is an apprentice hammer. Apprentice hammer. Mm -hmm. uh, next, we were going to go visit a machine shop in Florida who has another really good YouTube channel. I was listening to him at work one day. The, the, he did tours all sorts. Or there's all sorts of machinists on there. Is, is there is that correct, Cam? That uh, that YouTuber? Do you just call him Cam. Cam's ankle. I got to Cam's and then I meant to say ankle and it just, why use more words when less will do? When few do. When few do. And then finally, last but not least, his shop is in Pensacola. And then I think that takes you to the last place, which tells you that the answer is my underpants. I love it. I love it. No way. Cam couldn't get it to work on the computer, but only on his phone. So Cam had got up to Pensacola. Um, you say you're giving an ingot for that, correct? Yes. Is it numbered? This one, it uh, off the top of the stack, it is a numbered one. Let's give them a numbered one. 19 out of 20. There you 19, go. 19, okay. 19 out of 20. Kara, do you want to put that aside? Yep. The, the shipping on that one's going to be outrageous. Outra outrageous. <laughs> outrageous. Freaking, uh, okay. Should we chat pin thing double crossed me again. Disregard <laughs> that one. Uh. Uncle Ankle. <laughs> <laughs> Um, all right, so we watched the Ahsoka trailer really quick. Wait, together. Builders Mark, yes. you, you, I was stationed there. What? Oh, Pensacola. Pensacola. Yeah, we have a friend who was stationed there a long time ago. The Blue Angels were stationed out of Pensacola. I don't think they still are, are they? Didn't wasn't Lauren stationed there? Tyndall. Oh, that's right. Tyndall. All right, we're gonna watch the Ahsoka trailer together whoop, as well. Whoop, whoop. Is this I the one am... that reveals? Yes. No. <sighs> no. Dang. That was different. No, this is the something's coming. Coming. Something, something, dark. Dark. Those people, I love this part. It's so sick. Mm -hmm. it's that's it, that's it. Look at those Leku. This is, this is, is a new beginning. beginning. Oh, there's an echo, Chris. For some, For some. Is there? For us, maybe. Oh. I don't have one. There's Ghost. Hera. Hera. Chopper! <laughs> Oh, wow. That seems like August, I believe. Yes, in it does. While, in a while, things have changed. Things have changed. Try, Kyle, you got the right answer, but only after uh, Bear Jew got it. Whispers. 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 The Bob Brown's return. As heir As to heir the empire. empire. Is that Marin? We have to be so worst. 
I think you just ate some bad chicken. <laughs> I'm just kidding. I am so glad. I like. I'm glad they listened to the people and lengthened her leku. I know it's stupid. I know I shouldn't complain about it, but it drives me nuts. I'm so glad well, they lengthened them. A lot of people them. think that like they just hadn't figured out exactly the best way to do them yet, and that was they made them as big as they possibly could with what they for her to be able to move around time. and stuff. Yeah, I know. Yeah, I know. But they, I mean, oh, they, they, it looks like she's gonna land. Oh, oh. oh bounced right out. <laughs> Um, Blast! Oh, I thought it was going to be an anime. It still would have been cool because they did an excellent job with uh, Star Wars well, Visions. We watched the Indiana Jones trailer, Gwen. Mm -hmm. Where were you? She must I not have been here. here. Triclaw said he was having internet issues. I am bummed out. I'm sorry, Triclaw. Uh, Cam's ankle. We know is that a lot it is a series. It is a series. Yes. The Ahsoka show is a series. Mm -hmm. um, just like Oh Mando is. Uh, and stuff like that. So, ooh, who redeemed who the redeemed IMDb? IMDb game? Danny, Danny Glover Ryan redeemed it. So this is one we have done before. It doesn't matter that I remember that we've done it before. We've done but the, it's a Danny. Good one. Okay. Uh, Danny Glover. So, uh, ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the IMDb game. Woo! For those of you who do not know how the game is played, uh, the person who redeems the IMDb out. game chooses an actor or actress for us to figure out if they've appeared in more films, films or fewer films as credited by IMDb than screen legend Sean Connery. So everyone, let us know in chat whether or not you think that Danny Glover has appeared in more films or fewer films than Sean Connery. Do you remember doing this one, Jeremy? I do not. I don't either. But I'm gonna go with more. If you get it wrong. I know I know that I've done it, but I can't remember what the answer is. If I, if I go if I get I... it wrong, I have to do what? Uncle's <laughs> going for the bunnies on your head. Oh no! I'm gonna go with more uh, still. Ryan and I just recently watched the Lethal Weapon series. I wanna say le I know he's been in a few things, but Kara, I'm, gonna, I'm gonna go with less. This is for who? Mayhem? That wasted is time. For wasting time. Right. And I did it to the right, too. I don't understand why it's still going. Oh, give my away. goodness. Oh, uh, uh. It, was give, it was giveaway. Okay. We'll give it to well, giveaway. Well, no, don't enter yet. Don't enter yet. Because I've not cleared out the entries from last Hello, time. man or mutant. Welcome That's in. Boy, you boy, did man. make it with two oh, minutes. See, people aren't listening to me. People are not listening. Blazzy's you enter so excited. Now, you're not going to be actually be able to enter. Oh well, whatever. We'll just let it go. That's fine. If the, we'll just have five thousand polls when a person's not here. <laughs> <sighs> we got one now, more. Now is this for a cartouche of Jeremy's personal stash? You know what? Let's do it. Let's give away a roll of filament. We haven't given away a roll of filament in a while. We'll give away a roll of filament. Sorry. <laughs> All right. Um, so the the correct answer. So you guys are saying what for Danny Glover? It was kind of a. I, I said, said less. More. Okay, he has appeared in more films. What? No way! So Cam's ankle. You cannot aim for these bunnies, please. So aim, aim for his face instead. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. yeah. It was. It was, it, was more. it was more. Jeremy was right, so you can't shoot him. Uh, we have another wheel spin for or Cam's, Cam's ankle. ankle. All right, here we go. I tightened the bolt down on this one so it didn't get so crazy. Do you pizza, pizza dance, dance again? That is three. <laughs> this is super. There should loose. be a limit on pizza dance. I don't think so. There is I, a limit. I don't think so. The limit is there is no limit. Yep. Yeah. <laughs> the limit is unlimited. All right, I'll tell you what. Here's what we'll do. We won't put music on. I will do the pizza dance as we do the outro. Um, but okay, so we have oh, okay. the IMDb game is over. Really wanted to talk more Star Wars. Uh, we did the Bounty Hunter mission. 
Oh my gosh, builders was one. We need to get shot, I believe. Oh, uh, thank you. Oh man. Builders Mark, thank you so much. That's oh, five gift subs worth. Oh, those are dialed in. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. That's why I'm wearing the a precision thick precision of the hoodie. grouping oh. is immense. Woo. That is a turn. <laughs> so there's a little table up here now that I have it sitting on. Oh, so it's just right so at the you right. Just, it just go left and right. That's hilarious. So funny. Okay. So we need to do a draw, correct? And was there one more thing we were waiting to do? Woohoo! I love that smoke machine. I really do. <laughs> Except you're going to murder Kara. All right. Is everybody um, done? Think- Enter. This will be up for a roll of my personal filament. The cartouche. I think, I think, yeah, make sure you're entered, everybody, and we'll do a drawing for that. And then I already uh, forgot we were going to do uh, Did you see Bear Jew's comment? He said he was making little pizzas today, and as he was baking them, get uh, out of here. He was singing the pizza dance. Ashley yeah. made pizza tonight, too. Nice. Builder's Mark says cartouche. Cartouche of filament. It's, it's the bougie way of saying spool. I can't. Oh, so I was. I, I know people are like, "Oh, it's not a roll of filament; it's a spool of filament." I've seen so many people talking about smoothing 3D prints when they're talking about the filament. They say "roll." Yes. So many people. I love it. <coughs> it's become part of the vernacular. I prefer, I prefer at this point. cartouche. Cartouche is. Of course I try you to would. say spool. It is bougie. It's like the cartouche of filament. <laughs> of course you would. Cartouche. Yes. <laughs> All right. Should I draw? Go ahead and Do draw. It. We're drawing for cartouche of filament. Oh, Darkest Nights, in with the last Ashley! Ashley, you have right. won. Congratulations. We know full well David's not going to say no to that. <laughs> <laughs> He's Absolutely printing not. half of my uh, Bo-Katan armor. <laughs> That's funny. All right, we have one more wheel spin. Wait, is Ashley here? Ashley needs to comment. Oh, that's true. Oh, a one-word Star Wars story. All right, Jeremy. Ashley, you are you it. here? Oh, she's here. There we uh, go. Jedi. Father. Gave. Quill. Fifteen. Parsecs. Of. <laughs> Spice. <laughs> Whoa, right for the drugs, Chris. Right for the drugs. <laughs> Quill. Gave. <laughs> No. Bantha. Poodoo. Ah, that's what I was going for. <laughs> because he hates younglings. <laughs> <laughs> and NC. <laughs> okay, all right. Oh my gosh. <sighs> he gave someone 15 parsecs of spice and no bantha poodoo. <laughs> well, he didn't care about bantha poodoo, younglings, so no bantha poodoo. We want to just. Spoke <laughs> <laughs> Thank you guys. You got a fit donation? Who? Wait, who did? Oh, okay. oh, he wants. he wants the book. Oh, Hold on, should we set the mood for this? Do it. Do it. Are you playing music? Oh, oh. oh. Giving you a spotlight. You... Casey couldn't sleep that night, even with Ivy curled up in the bed next to her. Her parents were still downstairs at the tavern when they arrived back at the apartment, which meant avoiding the third degree of why her eyes were pink and swollen. Ooh. I think crying. she was crying. Yeah, I was going to say. That's Either all that or she it. had pink eye and was really reacting to it. <laughs> <laughs> That's so funny. Gal. Okay. All right. Anyway. Well, uh, I want to say sorry once again to people that listen to the audio only version of the podcast. Once again, we provided absolutely nothing of value to you, but you can always try and make that better by joining us every Saturday night at 7 p.m. Central at twitch.tv slash rise the podcast. And joining in live with us as we are doing this insanity. You can also catch all of our old episodes at youtube.com slash rise of the podcast. If you are watching on YouTube, don't forget to like the video and comment down below to keep the conversation going. It's uh it's always been a trip. Probably the smoothest episode in a while, but thanks for thanks for sticking with us as we're doing this every single weekend, you guys. It means a lot to us. Thank you all so much for watching, and of course, may the force be with you.